Thank you everyone. It's my pleasure to participate at this national conference of the CHPC 2021. This work is supervised by Professor Janet Conradi from the University of Free State in South Africa and Professor Fridolin Changwanya from the University of Marwa. This work is focused on the context of the theoretical characterization of organic molecules for possible applications in optoelectronics. Since the works of Mark Jamit, Alan Heger and Hideki Shirakawa on doped polyacetylene, the organic molecules have attracted great interest in electronic and they are already able to substitute certain components principally made up of silicon. It is well known that silicon is an expensive material and it is also difficult to extract. In addition, components made from silicon are fragile and brittle. Then, the search for less expensive and non-toxic materials remains a constant and permanent challenge. For this work, we use the resources of the CHPC to perform DFT calculations of the electronic and optical properties of the fullerene and, and its chlorinated derivatives. The fullerene molecule is well known for its applications in photophysical, gene and drug delivery, for water purification, and so on. Due to its good fluorescence, we have thought for the first time about the possible implication of fluorine and its chlorinated derivatives for organic light emitting diode. However, the high cost of manufacturing and testing of these new materials is a significant problem and requires the use of efficient state-of-the-art methods which can be able to effectively predict the desired properties before they are put into service. So for this, we used the DFT method at the level of PBE functional for the calculation of electronic energies. As a result, we have only summarized some important parameters to characterize our proposed diode. First, the optimization of geometries and frequency calculations have been computed. We have not found any negative frequencies showing that a minimum energy geometry is obtained. In addition, the calculated ES spectra show a close agreement with the experimental data. Second, our DFT calculated adiabatic electron affinities and homolumo gap energies show that our student molecules are stable in air and they are also the good semiconductors. Before further analysis, we want to point out that the metals used as electrodes are chosen based on the work function and also on the homo and lumo level for solid molecules. Based on these results, we have calculated and collected in tab 2 some important parameters to characterize the proposed diode. We have used indium tin oxide as anode and nickel gold and platinum as cathode from the calculated injection energies of holes and electrons we can tell that the good electrodes for the chlorinated fullerene diode is the eto as anode and platinum as cathode we return from this work that the use of the CHPC resources has helped us to get to a rational method for computation and reliable structures. However, the computation of energies at the MP2 and CCSDT level of theories was not performed because they have been very computationally time expensive of our molecules. So, thanks for your keen attention.